Hello everyone. So today I'm going to work on this uh, magic skill tree. So here we are going to add the first magic skill tree, which is a kind of an area of impact attack, magic attack. So let me get some skill points so that we can activate it. So magic attacks are bound to key edge. Right now I'm pressing edge, but nothing happens. So if I go here, skills and activate the first magic skill and go back press edge now you see we can do the magic attack so let's go to some enemies and do that see? it got hit so it can actually affect multiple enemies depending on their position see but if they are blocked by something else it will not affect so yeah this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done in my channel from the patreon page once you become a member you can access anything without any limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and also here is the full playlist which is freely available in my channel action rpg with gameplay ability system so here i have shared all the details of how i have implemented this uh, template so you can follow everything and implement everything by yourself so i'll leave the link to that also in the description and now let's get back to today's tutorial all right so now here if i go to my skill tree right now i have this stealth but i think instead of stealth it would be better if i have a magic skill tree because this is an action rpg so i don't really at least according to what i am building i don't really see a need for a separate skill tree for stealth abilities so let me open my skill tree and here i'm going to rename this to magic and here this is the initialization of the third skill tree so i'm gonna have a different data table for this dt So here I'm going to duplicate this data table, the existing one, and rename it Magic Skills. Run it. So we don't really need any of these things. Remove everything. And as the first one, I'm going to add uh, what's the magic attack that I implemented. So actually, this is the one. So I have already enabled it this this is the first magic skill which i have implemented here oh, radial aoe area of impact radial attack okay so i'll name this aoe one And it shouldn't have any dependency level is zero and we do need to create a skill gameplay ability so abilities upgrades let's create a new gameplay ability as the parent i'll choose ga skill 
G A A O E E one two. Okay, and also we do need a gameplay effect as well. G E A O E one scale. So here we need to grant an infinite tag to turn detector. Upgrades. Here we need a separate category. Upgrades. Magic. A O E one. Select that. Make sure it's infinite. Right. Now let's go back to A O E scale. And here, as the applied gameplay effect, I'll assign. This E A O E skill and as a granted ability, I will assign A O E the radial ability, which is the actual ability that we activate when we want to perform the magical attack. And then G A A O E one skill we can use it here as the icon. Use this one. Simple like icon that I have already created. And then let's go back here. I'll initialize my third skill tree with the D T magics. All right. Skill tree. What? This is wrong. I think I didn't assign magic skills data table. Yeah, I didn't. See? Yeah, see? So I can already activate this, but even without activating, if I press H, this already works. That's because I had already applied this as a default ability for the character. So let me remove that. G A E, this one, G A A O E, radial. Delete that. And also, we would have to delete the save game and start new because in the save file, we already have the saved uh, area of impact ability. So, let me just delete this. Now, my character will be spawned without any gear. See? Okay, I got two skill points. If I press H, see, nothing happens. H is the, because H is the key that I have assigned for the magic attack. Now, if I go to my skill tree and activate the magic ability, and now press H, still nothing happens. Why is that? All right. I actually need to call grant abilities. Otherwise, this ability will not be granted. Okay, let's try again. Skill points, go to the skill tree. Activate this, come back, press H. See? Now I can do the magic attack. 
here, I believe the enemy can be defeated by that. It does. Okay. okay. Alright. So if I had multiple enemies, since this is a radial attack, it can actually affect multiple enemies. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.